get to me online or stitching on a sewing machine if you're better here. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Let's get into the video. This cute short sleeve cardigan is what I'm going to be refashioning. Um, when I actually bought this from the charity shop, it had this, what I assumed was a belt because of the way it was hung on the hanger. Um, but it actually isn't. There's a little, let me show you. Can you see there? A thread loop. And it goes onto that button there. So it's actually a neck scarf or a necktie. Oh, that's been, I've been sewn on in, in red thread, that button. Um, so yeah, so it's actually, you, you would have seen my thumbnail. Um, so it goes on like so and then that will tie into a bow or what have you so it actually goes that way so it's not a belt anyway I will be wearing it like that actually I will be putting it onto the little button but I'm going to be turning it the other way so this is another project where I'm wearing, where I will be doing a back to front. <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier though with a knit because it's not as restricting and um, it's, it is oversized for me. But I just love the colour combination. I just love that stripe detail. Not so keen on the, I do like the pockets, I just think they're a little too small. So yeah, so that's going to go to the back. So let's get started on this project. Okay, that's it on. Okay, there we go. See, it's the gorgeous colours that are in there. But I want to turn it around. Yeah, I'm not happy with the way. Even if I put the <laughs> tie on as well. No. Okay, then it has to be turned around. Let's put all this interesting detail towards the back. easy project but a very effective one. So I'm just going to need one line of stitching on a sewing machine if you'd like to hear. <laughs> I will not be doing this by hand. But you may not be glad to hear but I will be sewing it on a sewing machine. So it's like to, that, that, that looks cute. <laughs> and it looks cute because it fits me better. And then it's opening this out. Oh, that's nice. See, I've changed the look of it. 
yeah, there may be some hand sewing in this. <laughs> yeah, there, there's going to be some hand sewing because I, I, I want this to be stitched down. I'm not going to use sewing machine for that. It just flattens it too much. That is nice, actually. So yeah, the Kizzy project, and that looked that look cute from behind as well. I think sometimes we do think of just the front of a garment always. The obvious reasons I will say as well, uh, but sometimes it's, it's nice to have interesting details to the back of the garment. And it's still going to be interesting to the front of it as well when I put the tie on and contrast of the detail around the cardigan. It's 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 nice, I like it. But I, I wouldn't looking at it now. Yeah. I, I I prefer it to be a lot more plain and I like the fact that this is going to be at the back. So another back to front project. So let's get to my sewing machine and then sew this straight down and then I will be doing some hand sewing, so this detail is showing, and then it will be done. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Also, by the subscribe button is a join button which you can join my membership on my channel, CGL membership. Let's get back to the video. So what I need to do next is to just sew a straight line all the way to the bottom. I'm not starting from the top here, I'm going to start here and just see how this lies. Um, if I need to allow this to be taken up here a little bit more, I'll do it by hand because some hand sewing is going to be involved. Let me just put one more pin in here and then do a straight line of stitching. Just putting all my loose threads to my straight line of stitching. Next step is to, yeah, that looks gorgeous. Yeah, that looks pretty. I like that. I'm not even, yeah. So I made the right choice by not stitching this section down. I prefer it like that. That's nice. I stitched it, it'd be the same as that end. But no, this is nice. Okay, so let me get some pins in there. Making sure keeping it as flat as I possibly can on the underside. Got more of this showing than what's on this side. Let me just take those pins out again. Yeah, that's a bit better, yes. That's much better. Okay, yeah, it feels a lot flatter now. I just put one more here and then I'm ready to hand sew. So what I'm going to be doing is just sewing, hand sewing along here to there on both sides and then press and then it'll be ready to wear. That looks so cute. You can base stitch, um, I, won't, I won't bother because I, I don't have that much hand sewing to do so I'll just keep the pins in. So I'll be just doing a slip stitch.
my hand sew is all complete use a slip stitch showing on the wrong side so that's gorgeous it is possible to actually sew this on a sewing machine just open up the buttons and sew down each side I'll try it on for you now while I was hand sewing it's possible to wear this both ways any project really that you turn back to front is just what you prefer isn't it um, but I can see myself wearing it this way as well as the the preferred way which is that way so yeah it depends on how what kind of look you're going for if you want a bit more of a minimal look and not too much detail and then if you want to go over the top and have lots of detail <laughs> then there you have it including these pockets it's turned out well yeah i like it i love, it. I love this detail here where you can just see the front peering through to the front <laughs> so the front of the <laughs> jumper through in here let me just show you that and that towards the back which is now the new front but i i, I definitely think it's it's, it's it's definitely two for one <laughs> um i'll definitely get where are that and uh, i prefer when these are showing yes so it's a quick and easy project it was just a case of doing one straight sewing on the sewing machine and then I did the hand stitch in order to keep the the details separated and not flatten them. It is possible to actually sew those down if you wanted to by um, sewing machine. You can always open up the buttons and then sew down each side. So you've got three rows of sewing, but um, hand stitching is, yeah, in many ways you can't be too if you want a professional, clean, crisp look to a refashion project or even a project that you're starting from scratch so if you enjoy this project please give it a thumbs up and please do share do leave a comment in the comment box below and do check out the description in order for links for hand sewing tutorials that i've used in this project and don't forget to subscribe and also remember if you want to become a member then click the join button and i will see you next time thank you for watching